please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Breaking news. Congratulations to the following students who are nominated to the prom court. The princes are Sam Berline, Blaine Feaster, and Ethan Farrow. The princesses nominated are Emma Berline, Andy Saunders, and Maya Yildrum. The kings nominated are Ben Becker, Joe LaLuga, Christian Holferty, Colin Brogham, and Zach Ney. And the queens nominated are Anna Hermelink, Morgan Berry, Emma Roth, Kate Eichens, and Haley Van Dieven. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes is hosting its third annual worship night called The Event. Come to the auditorium on April 12th at 7 p.m. to hear South students share their faith. Everyone is invited to attend in its open seating. Can't wait to see you there. Contact at Park Hill South FCA on Twitter for more details. Attention all students in grades 9 through 11. Here are two area Kansas City college fairs where you can meet with college representatives from around the country. Get answers to all of your questions, learn about college options, and start the college planning process early. These events are free and open to all students and families. For more information, go to Infinite Campus. On the lunch menu today, we have mozzarella breadsticks, mini corn dogs, and jalapeno barbecue burger. And the premium meal is honey sriracha boneless wings. Happy birthdays today go out to Sebastian Brasile, Cole Brewster, Macy Chindamo, Farol Dabesa, Braulio Sierra, Leanne Cash, Robert Thomas, and Miss Boda, the administrative assistant. Sorry if I butchered your names. Park Hill South and welcome to the Southside Scoop. I'm Valerie Bowles. And I'm Ivy Shank. Today is Monday, April 9th and it is a black day. Ivy, the choir department here at South, in my opinion, is one of the best departments we've had here. Just all the talented singers there, it's just amazing to go watch their shows. And Nathan and Jillian have a little bit more about our choir department. While most people are doing some spring cleaning, a cappella is doing some spring singing instead. We've been preparing since the beginning of school. With their hard work and determination, they've been able to showcase much talent. Part of what makes acapella interesting is the fact that even though you, have, you, have to, you put a lot of work into it compared to the other choirs like men's and women's chorus, it has really good results because if you hear go to the assemblies and hear the national anthem, some people are just like, my gosh, they sound good. Or maybe at a Veterans Day assembly, same story, same story, but same results and same great music. While the choir has much to offer on stage, it has even more to offer off stage. I actually used to have really bad stage fright before I started high school and I wouldn't sing for anybody. And then I got into high school and I was like, oh, I'm an actually, uh, I'm a good singer, I guess. Um, and so I was, I wanted to succeed and I wanted to do all of these things in choir um, and was singing, but I was so afraid in the beginning. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm so thankful to Miss Brockoff because she kind of broke me out of my shell. Audrey is just one of the many students who has shown improvement over the school year. I think all of my students stand out. Um, they've really worked hard and I, I see improvement from everybody from the beginning of the school year and it's really a lot of fun to see them improve and to hear the what they can do with the music they make together. We've worked a lot 
um, especially in tone and blend and high notes because um, they can be intimidating at times, but um, my section especially has worked to push through that kind of scary factor and um, really own them, and that's going to shine at DC. Opportunities for growth like DC have presented themselves in the past and will continue to do so in the future. I'm Nathan Zorns with the South Side Scoop. Thank you, Nathan and Jillian. Attention seniors, are you signing to play sports in college? The next signing day is Wednesday, April 11th. Be sure to stop by the office and get a signing information form from Ms. Boda. It is due no later than tomorrow, April 10th. If you'd like to bring a date to prom that does not attend our school, you need to stop by the security table to pick up these forms. These forms are due back on Wednesday, April 18th. Park Hill South is hosting our first annual bubble soccer tournament on April 28th. Sign up as an individual or get four other friends to make a team. Sign ups are in your student email, a link is on What's Up South's Twitter, and paper copies around the school. It costs $8 to sign up as an individual or $30 per team of five. Admission is free. Sign ups and money are due by April 20th. The girls track team finished fourth at the Carnegie Invitational last Thursday. Marty Height won the 3200 meter run and set a school record with a run of 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Other event winners include Alicia Westbrook in the high jump, Emma Roth in the 800 meter and 1600 meter, and Marty Height, Emma Roth, Keely Danielson, and Paige Schneider in the 3200 meter relay. Great job, ladies. Cheerleading tryouts begin today here at Park Hill South from 3.30 to 6. Wear athletic clothes and shoes and bring your physical if you don't have one on file. See Mrs. Diepenbrock for more information. Just a reminder that student drivers are not allowed to cut between the two parking lots by driving behind the school. Driving behind the school could result in loss of your parking sticker. That's all we have for you today on the Southside Scoop. I'm Ivy Shank. And I'm Valor Bowles. Have a marvelous Monday, Parkville South.